everybody. Welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. This week, we got something a little special for you. We're going to do some baby back ribs on our Stumps Gravity Fed Smoker. Stick around. Okay, so we have three of these racks of baby back ribs that we're going to go ahead and just prep today. This is not going to be a comp competition style. Uh, these are for home eating, but we're going to show you how we like to enjoy them. Just going to pull that membrane off. Got that taken care of. Now you want to trim off any of this, you know, fat or meat that's hanging because it's just going to burn up. And I want to try to square these up just a little bit. Take this end off. Then down here, this end. See this hunk hanging here? We're going to trim that up. And these look pretty darn good. You can save this extra for scraps or whatever you want to do with it. Put it to beans. But you can see these look real nice. Not a lot of fat to them. We're going to go ahead and season them up. First seasoning we're using is just a basic AP rub from Killer Hogs. We're just going to go over this lightly. Hit both sides. Second rub we're using is a blend that we use uh, in competition. It's sweet with a little kick to it. Sides well. Today we're running our stumps at 265. We're going to go a little hotter with these. We're going to throw some apple and pecan wood in them in the gravity box for the smoke. We're going to let these sit for probably about 20 minutes. Today we're going to cook these on a rack. Just like that. sit and get happy while we season up the other two racks. Okay, so we have our ribs prepped. It's sweated down real nice. We're going to go ahead and slide these in here. We are going on the second rack. Set those ones there. Try to get this guy squeezed in. So just like that. So we got all three racks right on the second shelf. We're not going to probe them yet. We're going to wait until I go to the wrap phase. I just want to get a good color on this. We're going to let it run for about two hours. We're going to come back and check. So with this gravity smoker, you put your charcoal in here. It holds about 12 to 15 pounds of, we're running briquettes today, cowboy brand. And for the smoke, down here in your ash pan, you're simply just gonna, you can see the hot coals falling down there. You're just gonna throw some chunks of wood back in and that is where the smoke comes from. So today we're gonna run a little bit of the apple and I got some pecan there and you don't need a lot of it and it'll smoke for the duration of the cook. This is a flame boss that we're running. Uh, it makes managing uh, this pit very simple, has a probe inside, uh, fan kicks on when it needs air, and right now we're, we're set at 265, it dropped because we had it open, but it'll be back up to 265 in about 15 minutes. So we'll check back here in about two hours and see how they're looking. Okay, we're a little over an hour in on these ribs. We're gonna go ahead and just give them a spritz. And check them out and see how they're looking. Get a real nice color to them. Just gonna give them a little, let them dry up a little bit, which is what we want. We want the bark to set. Just have some apple juice that we cut with a little bit of water in here. Nothing crazy. Just have some 
but we're gonna get back into that guy. So let him roll. Pull him back nice on the bone. The color's looking good. Probably about another hour before we'll go ahead and wrap him. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, and wrap our ribs now. Uh, just gonna lay down a little bit of brown sugar. Today we're gonna use some of this Craig's rib candy, apple cherry flavor. All sweet, no heat. And we're also gonna use some of our squeeze butter. Grab a rack. They're already pulling back nice. Gonna wrap these guys up nice and tight. Have three layers of foil here because for whatever reason this foil is very thin. For the last layer I'm actually just going to take down over the top like that. Hours. Those were on for two hours. You can tell they're already starting to tender up real nice. I'm going to put them back in and we'll start watching. I'll put a probe in these ones and we'll start watching the temp on them. Try to run them up to about 205 and then we'll unwrap them and glaze them up with our sauce. Ready, Freddy? Yep. Okay, we got our three racks of ribs wrapped. Just gonna set them right in here. Right back on the same rack. This time, take my probe try to, to not hit bone. There we go. Slide that back in. Close her up. We'll check them in about an hour. We'll watch the temperature, get them up 205, pull them out, sauce them, and enjoy. Yummy. Okay, we have hit temperature on our ribs. I figured they'd be wrapped about an hour. Again, we're running pretty hot with these. So we're just gonna pull them off and take them over, unwrap them, and we're gonna lay them back on our racks get them sauced up and put them back on for probably about another half hour or so. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and sauce the back side of these right in the, in the foil. And that's just some of our, our basic barbecue sauce that we made up. It's going to give them a good coating. And then we're going to take these and flip them out. You can see how pretty they look. I mean, it, they're nice and tender. I can feel it. So we got the backside of all these racks uh, sauce. So now we're just going to go ahead and put some of this on the top half. You see, I'm not using a whole lot. Just going to be enough to glaze them. You don't want to overpower the rib. There's a lot of good flavor in there. 
You want your bark to stay on there, which it's doing. Now, if this was a competition, if we were doing competition style, we would probably put them in and then reglaze them again. But this is just good old at home eating here. Want them nice and tender, fall off the bone. They sure do look pretty. So we're gonna put these back in for probably about a half an hour. Don't want them to get too dark, there's a lot of sugar in there. And uh, we'll show you what they look like when we pull them out. Okay, everybody, we have our sauce set up on these ribs. Look at that, they pretty looking. Look at them bad boys. We're gonna get, get them off there. Okay, so we have our ribs done. We've let them rest for about 10 minutes. They look good. They're still smoking hot. We're gonna go ahead. It's gonna be a little messy, but that's all right. We're just gonna cut these. Got a few bones here. They look yummy. Smell yummy. Yeah. A nice smoke ring on them. I think I'll take that one, Mr. Bill. They're hot. Oh man, they're good. Give us a taste. Oh yeah. Right off the bone. Yeah, and that was hot and fast. That was. We cooked these on the stumps today at 275. We cooked them, smoked them for two hours, wrapped for about an hour until it hit about 208. Pulled them off, sauced them, put them back on for about probably 20 minutes. These things are banging. Yeah, they are. We do have other rib videos out there. You can check them out down in the corner. If you like the content, Please make sure you subscribe, do comments, we'll answer you right back, and we'll see you next week. Get you some